to the video lecture series of grade 10 chemistry today we will watch an experiment on sodium sulfate and barium chloride so in the previous videos i have uploaded the experimental videos of reactivity of different metals with dilute hydrochloric acid and what happens when zinc reacts with dilute hcl so today we will observe this experiment on sodium sulfate and barium chloride so both sodium sulfate and barium chloride are solid substances and it is white in color and both are crystalline solids so the first one is sodium sulfate and the second substance is barium chloride now before doing this experiment we have to make an aqueous solution of both the solid substances so for that purpose i have taken water in a beaker and adding sodium sulfate into water so that you will get an aqueous solution of sodium sulfate so add barium chloride also into water so that you will get the aqueous solution and after adding these two substances into water you have to stir it so that it will dissolve into water and the solution will be formed now stir the mixture well so that sodium sulfate will dissolve into water This is the second solution we are making that is barium chloride solution. Stir it well. So we will get a barium chloride aqueous solution. What do we mean by aqueous solutions? Aqueous solutions are made by mixing the substance in water. This reaction is an example of double displacement reaction. Now let us observe what will happen if we mix these two aqueous solutions i have taken sodium sulfate in a test tube and i'm going to add barium chloride into this sodium sulfate you can see a white color precipitate is formed in this reaction so what is this white color precipitate about what is a precipitate precipitate is a solid residue formed in the reaction now in this reaction between sodium sulfate and barium chloride barium sulfate and sodium chloride is formed so as you know sodium chloride is soluble in water but the white color precipitate is about barium sulfate so barium sulfate is the major product and it is formed as a precipitate so this white color substance is as barium sulfate precipitation so this reaction is also called a precipitation reaction why because a precipitate is formed during this reaction so when you write an equation you can see that sodium sulfate reacts with the barium chloride the products are barium sulfate and the sodium chloride and barium sulfate is obtained as a white precipitate and sodium chloride is soluble in water so that will not precipitate so this reaction is a clear example of double displacement reaction i kept the solution for another 5 minutes to settle down and after 5 minutes i could see that the precipitated barium sulfate is started settling down at the bottom you can see that in the video and the solid residue already started settling down that is actually sodium chloride obtained so in this picture it is more clear that the entire solid residue is settled down so that is barium sulfate it is completely settled down and the clear liquid you can see that is sodium chloride as you know sodium chloride is soluble in water 
so it is formed as a aqueous solution and the precipitate is that is what the white color precipitate formed here is barium sulfate so this is an example of double displacement reaction so the reaction which we carried out is so reaction between sodium sulfate and barium chloride so when sodium sulfate reacts with the barium chloride barium sulfate and sodium chloride is formed and barium sulfate is formed as a precipitate and sodium chloride is formed as an aqueous solution that you can see it in the test tube as a clear liquid on the top of the test tube 